everyone. Welcome to Maths by AC. Today we are going to do a, an exam style question on quantitative chemistry. Now, these type of questions where you need to uh, find the reacting mass is a very, very common uh, exam style question. I've seen it multiple times in GCSC and IGCSE exams. Um, pause the video and give it a try. When you are ready for the answer, press play. Now, here are the steps that you normally follow to do a question like this. Step one. Balance the chemical equation. It's already balanced, so that's done. Sometimes you get balanced chemical equations. Sometimes they give you to balance. So this one is already done. Find the number of moles of the substance with a known mass. Okay, so which one here is a known mass? Hydrazine is a chemical compound sometimes used as propellant in spacecrafts. It can be produced by the reaction between ammonia and hydrogen peroxide. If a chemist wants to produce 112 grams of hydrazine, oh, okay. So we know the mass of hydrazine as 112 grams. Now we need to find the number of moles. To find the number of moles, all we do is mass over MR. Number of moles is 112 divided by the molar mass of hydrazine. Nitrogen is 14 times by 2. And hydrogen is 1 times by 4. Now MR of hydrazine is 32. So Let's divide 112 by 32 to get the number of moles of hydrazine that the chemists want to produce. That is 3.5 moles. Now we know the number of moles of hydrazine is 3.5. The question is, what mass of ammonia is required? Let's look at the molar ratio now. You can see the molar ratio of hydrazine to ammonia is 1 to 2. So Whatever the number of hydrazine, you need twice as many ammonia moles. So all you need to do is multiply it by 2. 2 times 3.5, so we know that we need 7 moles. So number of moles is 7. N is equal to M over MR. So we found the number of moles of substance you want using the ratio. Now finding the mass is the last step. So N is 7. M we don't know. Uh, nitrogen, 14. Hydrogen is 1 times 3. 3 add 14, that is 17. So you put it here. The mass is 17 multiplied by 7, 119 grams. This is the final answer. 